Welcome back to episode 22 of Tales of Zestaria. And last episode, we done everything we can do in this town. We saved them from the plague. See? Look at this. He is happy. What did I say? I'm so sorry for getting out of hand recently. I would like to go and apologize to the owner of the end strike after this because I am hungry first then apologize. Okay. So people are happy because we saved their life. They are drunk. So we need whiskey, brandy, a mango, liquid, and what else? Oh yes, why? For the furnace potions. Okay, you don't need to be this depressing. Stop fucking up. Okay. Okay. The town is in need of a few things, but prices haven't gone up so far. Well, this is the chance to build a new business opportunities. The foundation for any good business is doing something consistently and for the long term. Hmm. Well, I will take note of that. Uh, that will be useful for my Let's Play channel. Thank you. So we are going out. We are leaving the city. Sorry. Huh. Let us give our respects to Rohan and the others. Right. Good thinking. <sighs> Who's uh, Rohan? I forgot. Rohan. Rohan. Just when we thought we could finally ah. Come on. I Our duty to those who stay behind is ah. I'm not okay. Let's go. What's he doing? I'm here. Here I go. He came at his cap. Daddy was saying how happy he was that the nice man heard us. Thank you. Coming back to worship the great tree. You can trust I will do my part as well. That's good. We can take our leave in peace. Huh? Aww, no, y'all are running out on us. You take care, attack. I I'm staying behind. Huh? After all, we need to find someone to properly give tribute to Rohan. Alicia, you don't mean... And I have to report to Lady Lake about what happened in Marland. Things with the Council have just settled down, and if you're with me, you'll just get wrapped up in it again. I would love to continue our travels, but I... Well... Thank you so much, Alicia. Same to you. For everything, Saray. Oh. Whoa! Get a room, you two. It's not like you won't see each other again. I shall do my best to work toward a highland with no malevolence. And I'll keep chasing my dream. Safe travels. Y'all come back now! 
You hear? Oh, we are fucked up again. This means we are not team of four, but team of two. Uh, let's see the person over there. What's that? Found me a little scary thing. Flowers of the great tree. I hear that there are scorpions going lying around deep inside the horse room. I don't know if they worth anything there. It's hard to stay to say if uh if we worth the trouble to go all the way to find them. A shiny pretty stone. It does make me curious. It might be some sort of artifact. Travel to the Roland but I think we we'll start having a side. Yeah, uh, let me check that out first. Oh, I know it. We are totally fucked up right now because we need another hero to have. We need another human to have another self. So now, even that I have four character, I can only have two in the battle. Thank you, Alicia. Just because you're racist, I know why she left. Because she don't want to help the Ronin. I, I have a message. It's urgent. Hey, hang in there. The Empire, the Roland's Empire is attacking. Oh shit. What? So the war has begun. Please. Pass the warning to the people of Marland. I have to get to the capital. You're injured. It's too dangerous. There's no time to waste. Be careful. Don't do anything reckless. Thank you. We'd better go tell everyone. All right, you bums. Play time's over. Let's go show those frou-frous in the capital what we're made of. Yeah! <laughs> I'm going. Yeah, I couldn't live with myself if we let these folks just run out to get slaughtered. You mustn't! If the Shepherd enters the heart of battle, the camp he extends his help to will surely be victorious. So what, we just sit quietly and watch? Yep, it's up to the Earth Dwellers to figure out some sort of compromise with each other. But with the Shepherd's power, I know I could save people. You might save the people of Highland, yes. However... The people of Rollins wouldn't be so lucky is the flip side. Correct. That's the nature of war. War knows neither justice nor malice. The power of the Shepherd greatly shapes the world itself. Were you to enter the war, there's no telling how warped it could become. All right. I do want Lucas and his group to take refuge along with the villagers. Will that be okay? Yes. Then let's talk to Lucas at once. They sounded like they were getting ready to leave any second now. Okay. Oh, oh, oh shit. Things getting very serious. Lucas, I'd really like you to seek refuge along with the villagers. Like hell! The battlefield is where we earn our living. Besides, we just helped rebuild your town here, no? You really want to see Roland's tear it to pieces? I'm just worried about all of you. Hmm. Please. Fine. We'll pull back beyond the Grifflet River. It's a damn shame. We're just gonna abandon this town right when it was getting its punch back? We both know what's really important. Hmm. 
I can tell I'm no match for this herder of sheep. Change of plans, you bums! We're taking the townsfolk to safety, up north across the Grifflet River. Get your preparations in order. Thank you. You'd better get ready yourself. The bridge still isn't fully restored just yet. We'll probably have to go ahead and set up camp by the riverbanks. You got it. Oh. Saray, don't forget about the library key. Oh, right. I need to return it to Nath. Nath! Oh, Saray. I came to return this. It's from Agatha. The key to the library. Thanks and sorry to trouble you. Anyone, it's gonna be me. She's not gonna teach you. Your clothes aren't even blue. They will be once I finally get my mom to buy some. Someone's popular. It's because Lady Maltran actually comes from Marland. She only became heir to her line when all the other successors passed away. And while her sense of responsibility was second to none, she was quite a frail young girl. She has trained herself very rigorously. And now she is the Blue Valkyrie. So they're opposites. What? Nothing. You just clarified something for me. Oh, <laughs> I don't really get it. But I'm glad I could be of help to the Shepherd. I have one more thing I wanted to ask. Have you heard of Irish Gems? Irish Gems? We have one. I just enshrined it in the Sanctuary as an offering for the town's restoration. Can we borrow it? There's something we're investigating. I wouldn't dream of refusing the Shepherd's request. Please, keep it as long as you like. Thank you. to the sanctuary I, th I think the game was dark but now it's getting even dark we're going to war with the Roman Empire and the Roman Empire okay can I take this We just take it? Oh. Leo, what do you think it means? The king was handing a sword over. Pretty clear that it was some formal military ceremony. And I imagine the person receiving the sword was a general. The uniform would suggest a general of the Roland's Empire. It's hard to say exactly when this took place, though. Whoever he was, he sure looked like a hero. But what does it mean? It's not like that's a particularly uncommon type of scene, historically speaking. If we could see more, we might get a better idea as to why this scene showed up. Do you think there are any more? I don't know, but let's try to find them. I mean, hidden glimpses of history? How cool is that? Uh, we, we just stole it. Yeah, we saved the entire town, but we just stole it. Yeah, 
this is it. Let's see. Where are we? We're good on our end. What say you, Shepard? Ready to head for the river? Yeah. Let's do it. This kind of area that's scary. I am Commander General Landon of the Highland Army. Is the Shepherd with you? That's me. You, huh? Does your business with the Shepherd really require so many troops, General Landon? You're that sellsword Lucas of the Shrub Boys, aren't you? Just as well. You listen up, too. I bring word of Lady Alicia. On suspicion of using the Shepherd to foment discord against the state, as well as assisting the Roland's empire with its invasion, Lady Alicia has been detained. That's nonsense. Alicia would never do such a thing. It is not an arrest, Shepherd. Merely an interrogation. Well, this certainly stings to high heaven. <sighs> But if the Shepherd were, say, to wield his power to deliver victory to our troops, it would likely assuage any suspicions we might have. Why you? Yeah. Saray, let us do as he says. We probably don't have a choice. If Alicia were to die at their hands. Yes. We all know Saray would blame himself for it. And if that were to happen, even someone like Saray could become corrupted by malevolence. That's it, right? If the Shepherd is corrupted by malevolence, it will guide the world to ruin, faster than even war could accomplish. The sooner we end this, the better. We can make this work. After all, you've got us with you. If I fight, do I have your guarantee Alicia will be released? If you bring us victory, then yes. We're coming too. Sorry, but it just ain't in our blood to turn tail and run. We sell swords have built up too much pride in too many battles for that. Very well. But I'm in charge here. You had better not forget that. So then, Shepard, I'll be waiting on the battlefield. Hey, cheer up, buddy. With the woodsman on the job, the Shepard won't even have to lift a finger. Saray, please hold All your right, head up you high. You ready I told you, didn't I? You've got us with you. Don't get all stupid gung-ho about this war business, okay? Just do what you need to do to get this crap over with. Thank you, everyone. Fuck this guy. No, seriously, fuck this guy. Oh, look at the bridge. This is not that beautiful job, but you're done well, guys. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, it was. We just heard. That's awful. Can't you just sit out this war? They'll use you for all your worth, and when you're done, they'll still probably kill Lady Alicia. I'm going. Really? We all know that the charges against Lady Alicia are a load of hogs wallop. We're heading out to Lady Lake to petition them directly. That's right. Surely the council will not be able to ignore the voices of so many citizens. So please, don't give up hope. Just promise you'll come back. We'll be waiting for you, gentle shepherd. Thanks, everyone. I'll be back. Well, that was nice. Hey, okay. mm. Rose, won't you join us? Come on. I actually wonder if it makes 
it's so easy for me to look back at it. It seems like I am left with doing business with the army or trust. What to do if it was just for a short while? I could stay with my brother and his wife, but it. But if it is, it go on for some time. Uh, it is no problem. It's only for a little while. It's not good to worry too much. Use the load of balance. Now, the explosion. Focus, oh. guys! Get on! Four Military are assholes. And I, like I said, I'm not spoiling anything, just guessing. At least she has parents and a bunch of assholes, they can play. Today's lesson is about bonus skills triggered by elemental unions. If a group union is vertical, you can say an elemental union is horizontal. Unlike a group union, you can activate an elemental union with as few as two skills, so long as they're placed side by side. Since there's ten groups, does that mean you can put anywhere between two and ten skills together? Yeah. Depending on the number of skills you have lined up, the effects will change. You can even duplicate the same effects if you want. So, like, if you have two each of the non-elemental skills, attack and rangus equipped... You'll get two Elemental Union 2 bonus skills, reducing non-elemental damage by 20% instead of 10. Not only that, but you'll get two Stack 2 effects on top of that. But you need to be careful. If you decide to equip just one of the third non-elemental skill, Blued, the bonus skill for Elemental Union 3 will activate, but the two Elemental Union 2 effects will both disappear. So for Elemental Union bonus skills, it first checks the total length of the combo, and then calculates how many of that combo to activate? Yep, bonus skills are beneficial, but you have to really start thinking things through if you want to optimize your strengths. It probably won't end well if you just use different equipment together blindly. So think carefully about what kind of equipment you want to use beforehand. So, could you have an item where all four slots are the same skill in a four stack? Or an item that, just by itself, triggers an Elemental Union 4 bonus? That's right. With proper item fusion and equipment coordination, you can draw out enormous power from skills, far beyond their basic effects. And there's one important announcement to be made. Next week again, huh? This is the last lesson. What? Really? Gala. Okay, so we have Gali B 
gotta be in we'll see I'm still here. There are army coming here. We can run another crew. I think I'm gonna do you remember the other item from the go to battle again. Do you remember the other uh, yeah, the green one is going to there. I think it is. You're there, aren't you? Is this is the right place. this. Oh, anyway. Four, three. Must be it. Do not lose sight of what you believe to be true and good in your heart. You don't need to worry so much about me. I'll be fine. You can say that we make a lot of progress today, but we didn't do anything. Everything this episode have is just cutscenes and story, and that is. There was no major battle, and. We didn't but, uh, fight any boss or solve any puzzle or dungeon or any of that. We said our goodbye to the city of Marland. Even that we save it, we cannot stay for glory. We are hero. We are going to save the world. We are saying our goodbyes to Alicia too. She give excuses of that she need to stay in her country and thing but I guess the reason is that she doesn't want to go to the Roland Empire and and guess what war started we get someone on horse and uh, he is like yeah the war started fuck us all we get the second iris gem in the cemetery and it show us some kind of guy who look like heroic and great but he's still a Roland uh, Roland warrior so we don't know what it's all about yet and guess what the fucking consular sent someone to blackmail and us that they will kill Alicia if 
they if we are not go to fight the war with them of course Lila and the other seraphins uh, tell the uh, sorry that is bad idea but after seeing that okay we must save Alicia so let's go to war and war it is there was an enemy cutscene and it was reminisced to the 300 scene of the bows and arrow it's like just waves come from the sky around them and thousands dies and we are in the war camps yeah we are joining the war next episode will be new thing totally new thing